Welcome aboard, Detective Phelps. Congratulations on your promotion. That is a sweet hat. You made quite the impression on the beat, but now you've moved up to the big leagues. There's a few things you need to know to make it in this town. The first rule of police work is make no assumptions until you've seen the evidence. This is your LAPD issue notebook, Detective. Use it. You'll find all your clues and locations in there. Among your case notes, you'll find your objectives, good for when the trail's gone cold, or you've just forgotten what you needed to do next. In here, you'll also find your intuition points and the options you can spend them on. These points can get you out of a tight spot and you earn them as you go, but not many, so use them sparingly. More on these later. At a crime scene or other location you're snooping around, don't stop looking for clues until you've found them all. Any clues you miss will count against you in your final around. case report. You'll know when you're near an unexamined clue when you hear this sound. Got it? This sound. And you'll feel a vibration. That's your detective sense tingling, Phelps. Don't ignore it. You can use an intuition point to reveal all the clues in a location, but you shouldn't have to. When you found all the clues in a location, you'll hear this sound. Want to hear it again? This sound. Was a woman. There's a note here on your file, Detective Phelps. It says, despite your fine record here with the department, you have been known to drive, quote, like a maniac. Oh, come on! Well, that just won't do. Reckless driving, damage to city property, mowing down honest, hard-working civilians, that'll harm your end of case report. And I know how you like to do well, being the LAPD's golden boy and all. For the love of God, drive carefully. And when you don't feel like it, have your partner drive you. You know the way. You can drive. You're behind the wheel. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. You might not see the sights, but it'll get you there quicker Major and without Sherlock accident. You're an old hand at interrogation by now, I know. When you've correctly trusted or accused a suspect or a witness, you'll hear... So you were hanging around the school for quite a while. And when you've got it wrong, you'll hear... You seem reluctant to talk about her jewelry. But how to tell whether they're playing it straight or holding out on you? It's all in the eyes. Well, mostly in the eyes. If they can't hold your gaze, your steely, steely gaze, then something's up. Above all things, look for them looking away. Why are you lying to me, Mr. Muller? Why would I lie to you at a time like this? Being a good cop's not all legwork and paperwork and sweet hats, Phelps. Sometimes you gotta go with your gut. Use your intuition. Points. Use your intuition points. If you're having a hard time reading a witness or a suspect, you can spend one of those hard-earned intuition points to remove a wrong answer from your options. It'll help you figure out whether to accept what they're saying, accuse them of lying, or just go with your hunch and doubt them without any evidence to back it up. Now that's police work. It is true, Hugo. You're a violent man. And that's all I've got for you, Detective. If you need more, then maybe check out GameSpot's full L.A. Noir game guide. Stay safe out there, we're counting on you.